So when it comes to motorcycle rallies, there is one and only one true mecca for the V-Twin crowd, Sturgis, South Dakota. With some of the best riding in the country, jaw-dropping bike shows, and non-stop motorcycles coming in and out, the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally has become renowned even amongst those who do not ride. So you've heard all about it, and have decided that this is going to be the year that you go to see what it's all about. There's a lot more to surviving Sturgis and making the most out of your time there than simply rolling in and rolling out. So in this video, we'll go over some of the key details that should not be overlooked as you plan your trip to Sturgis, whether it's your first time or your 50th, let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? FXDLS Brooklyn is back in the building. Ever since I became a heavy distance rider, I frequented Sturgis, South Dakota on and off for the better part of a decade at this point. I've learned a lot about how to properly navigate what can seem at times like a chaotic event, and I've boiled it down to five simple things for you to consider. Be prepared for all conditions. Throughout the times I've frequented Sturgis, every single year i faced very different conditions. Some years, it's literally rained almost the entire time. Some years, it was the extreme and record-breaking heat almost every day. Some years, it was unseasonably cold the entire time. Out in the Black Hills, you can, and probably will, encounter almost every weather condition possibly imaginable, even including hail. The number one tip is to make sure in terms of your bike and your gear that you're prepared to go head to head with any of these extreme conditions. This takes a lot of thoughtful planning, and fortunately these days there's no shortage of quality gear out there for literally any riding condition. Because from rain gear to a perforated riding jacket, you want to make sure that all your bases are covered. The other thing is to make sure that your bike is ready for anything. Once the rally starts, you'll be waiting days for the simplest of maintenance such as an oil change. So make sure that your bike is coming correct to avoid having to field any issues while the rally is actively going on. Rise early. So from the Needles Canyon to the Iron Mountain Pass, you will encounter some of the best riding in the country out in the Black Hills. So assuming that you're trying to scrape peg on some of those switchbacks and not have to ride 10 miles per hour below the speed limit behind some riders that maybe, should I say, are trying to do some sightseeing, you really need to prioritize hitting the road as early as possible. A 4am kickstands up is not uncommon for me during the rally, for this is the only way to have some of the best roads to yourself for a short period of time. Believe me, it's worth it. Ride early and ride often. Set aside time to enjoy the off rally. Some of my best times in Sturgis has actually been the week or even two weeks before the rally actually starts. This gives you time to really take in everything before the true chaos seeps in. When the rally officially kicks off, everything from lodging to food will hike up in price. So you really can save yourself some money, as well as have a better chance of having some of the best roads to yourself if you plan to spend time in Sturgis either before or after the rally. Book outside of Sturgis. Hotels and lodging will book really fast and become insanely expensive during the rally. I've always made it a point to stay 50 miles or more outside of Main Street Sturgis. So not only does this allow me to escape the chaos on Main Street whenever I want to, but it also drives down lodging costs significantly, while also opening up a lot more options, from ranch-style Airbnbs to hidden gems of campgrounds. And finally, be on your A-game. As fun as the rally is, one unfortunate truth is that at some point you will inevitably encounter a mix of both inexperienced and buzzed riding. The combination of the constant flow of alcohol as well as some people trailing their bikes in and only riding a couple weeks out of a given year can lead to some disastrous situations. 
I can't tell you how many wrecks I've seen throughout my years in Sturgis that were clearly due to either alcohol or sheer inexperience. My best advice to you is practice zero tolerance riding yourself and wait until you park the bike to crack open that first beer. Try to get the majority of your miles in on the early side of the day. It's always better to be riding amongst people who are hopped up on coffee rather than alcohol. Keep your head on a swivel out there and always, always wear your gear. So that's really all I got from someone who's been frequenting this rally for years at this point. For me, the thing that keeps me coming back is the riding that is offered out there as well as the various amazing bike shows. I never hate on anyone who trailers, but will always encourage you to put in the real miles and not trailer, because the highlights of all of my Sturgis trips have never been within the destination, but within the journey itself. So yeah, that's five things to not be overlooked. If you think I missed something important, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And finally, we do have new gear available. Check it out today as you crush your Black Hills miles. And as always, stay safe, stay low. And on that, FX DLS Brooklyn is out.